What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, I got a great video for you guys today, man. Fire content, best budget cards in MLB. The I'm gonna say not nah, the best lineup in MLB for under 10k stubs, guys. Under 10k stubs, and guys, if you're watching this, go drop 10k again. 10k every single day. We gotta hit 20 freaking likes, and someone will get what 10k. Go down in the comments if you're watching this. Write down 10k in the comments. I will select a random winner if we get to 20 likes. Someone will get 10k in the comments as long as the video hits 20 likes. If you're watching this, go check out my other videos. One of the videos are about to hit 20 likes. I'll give away 10k stubs. So let's get on that. Get on the video. Go like it. Go comment. Subscribe to your boy. I'm grinding every day. I got videos. Two videos a day. Let's go. We're grinding this out every day. Let's go. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. I'm going to start off with right field. This is the best lineup for under 10K stuff. So, ready? Let's go to right field. No, you know what? Let's just start with catcher. Start with catcher. Okay. Catcher. Let's see. Let's look. Okay. The best catcher I'll get for cheap. Right here, I would say Jorge Posada. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. Jorge Posada, hold on, let me just check in. Jorge Posada is your best option because, hold up, yeah, Jorge Posada because he's a switch hitter. Okay, he's super cheap, he's a legend. Jorge Posada is a very, very good buy. He's a switch hitter, very interesting. He has good vision, good, decent fielding, decent arm strength. All around decent. I love it. Awesome pickup. Switch hitting catcher is interesting to watch. That's my number one catcher for budget. So right there, that's 700 coins. We got 9,300 to go. Let's go. First base. Let's check. Let's check who we got for cheap. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go with Murphy. And I'm gonna go with Murphy just because it's Murphy. Check his vision, his contact, his power is decent, okay? Daniel Murphy is one of my favorite hitters, man. Yes, I'm a Mets fan, but what he did with the Nats, what he did with every single team is outstanding. I love this guy. One of my favorite first basemen. I actually still play him. He's my starting first baseman. Or, sorry, I put him at third base. Don't ask me why, but he plays good there somehow. But yeah, he's my starting third baseman. We got about 8,100 stubs left. So let's go to the next position. Second base. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, Cano. Yep, Cano. Go Cano. I have him. I'm starting him. Robinson Cano. It's Robinson Cano, dude. Robinson freaking Cano, dude. And what I'm going to tell you guys is don't buy him for 1,700. It's a 500 stub difference. Be patient. Go drop 1,300 on him. You'll see 400 stubs. Go pop it. Go buy it. Robinson Cano. So let's just say we got him for 1,200. Oh, my math is so off. Let's just say we have 7K left, okay? 7K left. Kind of accurate. Not really. So 7K, 7K left, okay? Let's go third base. Let's check it. Matt Chapman. Oh, I love that. He's too expensive. I can't. He won't make the cut. Someone's catching my eye, and it's this guy right here. Let me just check around. Oh, ooh, okay. All right. So for this one, I would say either Matt Carpenter or Anjuar because Anjuar is super good in real life. For some reason, he reminds me of A-Rod. Don't ask me why. I just love this man. I'm, I hate the Yankees, but <laughs> this guy is a stud. I could really see him going up in overall. So we have 6K left, and then I would say Matt Carpenter just because he's going to go up in overall. He's a stud. He got this with the 80 overall goal. He was a top hitter last year. Top 10 hitter, no less, last year. Completely dissed. Get him for about a K. Let's say we have 6K left. And let's head on to the outfield. No, I'm, I'm bugging. We got short stops, too. We got 6K left. Got a nice short stop. And I already have one in mind. And here it is. Gene Segura or Elvis Andres. Let's just check it over here. Man, Omnias Diaz. You guys remember on the Cardinals how good he was that one year? Complete fantasy stud. I had him. I'm, I was such a fan of him, and then he fell off the face of the earth. Don't ask me how. But, yeah. We have 6K left, and I would say it's between Gene Segura and Elvis Andres. Why? Because Gene Segura is an awesome contact hitter. All around perfect, I would say. Awesome card to have. I'll pick him up. If you guys have a little extra stubs, 
Go pick up Henry Ramirez. Look at those stats. Crazy stuff, man. He's so washed. Holy crap, man. It's terrible. So, yeah, we got, what, 5K left? 5K left with uh, Elvis Andres or Gene Segura. So, we got 5K left, and we're headed into the outfield right now. Left field. Let's check it what we got over here. Tommy Pham, Benintendi. Okay, Benintendi, Juan Soto. All right, this one's interesting, okay? You got a lot of options in left field. I would say, I would say, I'll give you a top four, okay? Top four. Chris Davis, man. Look at the power. It's like, it's like, whoa. Look at the power. If you throw any hanging curveball and you have your zone in the right spot, kiss it goodbye. He is like a legend, man. It is gone forever. Awesome card. Wow, Brett Gardner is washed. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon, I think he's going to be a gold soon. If you look at my last video, I really think he's going to be a gold. He is proving himself. He's looking like he's still OG McCutcheon, man. He's doing awesome right now. I hope he keeps it up. I'm a huge McCutcheon fan. Good for him. Uh, Gallo, he's too expensive, but whatever. He could be good. If you guys really fuck with him, go pick him up. We got Cespedes. Okay, so we got Cespedes. We got Soto. Eddie Rosario is okay, but we got Cespedes. These are my tops. I would say Benintendi, Soto, Cespedes, and McCutcheon, okay? So let's say we have three. Let's just say we have 4K left, all right? 4K left. If you pick up Soto, 3K left. So let's just say 3,500, okay? 3,500 stops left. We got center field and right field left. So let's get into it. I would, but my top here... I would say Cespedes. I would say Cespedes. But Juan Soto is playing, so he go up in overall. So Cespedes or Soto are my top twos. Benintendi also. His stats aren't the best. He just plays so good. I have him. He hits a lot of home runs somehow. Very good. They really botch his power and contact for Lance Lefties. He's one of the best hitters last year. How can they do that? He literally should be an 85 overall diamond. Whatever, though. Let's head into center field. Let's go. Uh, we got Sterling Merte Springer. We got, let's say, 3,500 stubs left, like I said. We got Hicks. Eh, eh, eh. All right. To be honest, only guy that catches my eyes straight up is Marte and Springer. Just, okay, first of all, Springer. He has speed. He has fielding. He has arm strength. He has contact. He has power. Can't ask for anything better. His vision is above average. So, he's literally amazing. Amazing card. He hits so many diggers for me. Highly recommend the card, man. Ooh, the lighting. Uh, highly recommend it, man. Sterling Marte. They, why does MLB give Sterling Marte a 50 power, a 47 power? So much diss in this card. He's going to go up in overall. He's really trying to prove himself this year. He really proved himself, but, man, I really have respect for this guy. He's an awesome card. So, let's say we have 1,500 stubs left, okay? You got to pick up Marte or Swinger. These are big boys center fielders. You got a little more coins. I highly recommend a Steve Finley. Look at those stats. Unbelievable stats. Torrey Hunter as well. But let's get into the last one. Uh, it is a right fielder. Let's check it. Right fielders. All right. Go buy Bryce Harper. He's budget. Nope. Go buy Yelich. He's budget. Nope. Yelich, Yelich, Yelich. All right. 1,500 stubs left. Who are we going to pick? And ready, guys. Oh, baby. The right fielders are stacked for budgets. Okay? So, ready? I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, I'm so shot. Yo, Puig. A stud. Puigy, 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 Puigy. Go cop him. Otani. Stud. Yo, this card... His stats don't look that good. Yo, this card, I'm not even kidding. I have like 10 at-bats with him. I'm pretty sure I have five home runs and three doubles. I swear to you guys. He is a freaking beast. His batting stance is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. He hits dingers and doubles. Everything. He hits everything against any pitcher. I was versus my friend. He had a bunch of diamond bullpen pitchers, a bunch of diamond starting pitchers, and he was mopping them. Otani, I bat him second. I bat him second, guys. So, Otani and Mitch Hanniger, he's going to be a freaking diamond this year. He's so underrated. He gets no credit. He's literally, he was a top 25 player last year, super underrated. They dissed him on the stats. 
go pick them up and honestly guys that's all i got for the video and before i end the video i just want to show you what team i'm rocking with because everyone says this guy doesn't know how to make stubs he has no stubs he has 2k this is my team guys this is over what 250k stubs look at how stacked this team is guys this is grind and jackie robinson down here oh wait 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 you think that team's not that good right wait till you see this guys Woo -hoo -hoo! look at the fire look at the staff guys come on no one better be dissing me in those comments because your boy bugs got some fire in the bullpen and uh, look at that bullpen dude it's crazy and honestly guys that's all i got for you today if you guys want to see some gameplay from your boy bugs let me know in the comments but honestly these stub videos are working everyone loves the stub videos my stub videos are the most helpful in the game they're freaking fire man i'm an mlb i know everything about baseball why would you not want to subscribe down low why would you not want to like the video why would you not want to comment 10k and get free 10k someone please tell me i don't know but anyway guys that's all i got for you today and peace out stay tuned for more fire